to our channel. My name is Caitlin and I'm the lead cake artist at Charm City Cakes in Baltimore. I'm going to show you guys how to make a peep cake. So you're going to need a pair of scissors, a pencil, a piece of paper or cardstock. I have cardstock. A little bit of buttercream, a bowl of granulated sugar, a little piece of black fondant, it doesn't have to be fondant, you can definitely color some buttercream black and pipe it, but I have fondant. Some food coloring, a serrated knife, a small knife, like a paring knife or steak knife, a small offset spatula. You'll also need cake and a cake board, a rubber spatula, and some single use gloves. So now what we're going to do is we're just gonna sketch out our peak. I love blue bunny peeps, they're my favorite, um, so I'm sketching out a bunny. So we're just going to start with the ears here, just a rough sketch. You can totally print out one online, um, just find a photo of a peep and print it out and size or size it and print it out, um, but I'm just freehanding it here. Just the basic shape of a peep from memory and then we're just going to cut it out. The next thing we're gonna do is make the eyes out of the fondant. Like I said before, you can totally use buttercream for this, in which case you'll wait till the end to do this, but since I'm using fondant, I'm gonna do it now. So you're just gonna take a tiny piece of fondant, tiny ball, and rip it in half, and just roll them into their own balls. And then kinda place them where you want to make sure they're the right size on the template. And I'm cool with that, so I'm gonna just take a little bowl and pop them in there for later. So the next thing we need is our cake. I have leftover cake from the last one I did, um, which is just a sheet. And I'm just gonna use this, but if you want to bake cake ahead of time for this and don't have any on hand, you can just take a eight inch or a nine inch round pan, whatever you have at home, and just make sure that your template is the same size as the width of the pan. But I'm just gonna cut this down so it's the same size as my template. And then I'm gonna trim off the top so it's level. And then I'm just taking my small knife and I'm going ahead and making sure that the knife is upright as I cut and trace my template. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but I'm slicing mine in half so I can have a filling. Um, you can totally just leave it the way it is and ice it, but I like to have fillings in my cake. So now I'm taking the template on the cake board and I'm just cutting an icing board for it. Now we're gonna color the buttercream. So just put a few drops of whatever color your peep is gonna be in the bowl and use your rubber spatula to mix it around. I find that single use gloves and mixing by hand goes a lot quicker because the heat from your hand helps the color absorb in the buttercream better um, just from the friction. So that's what I did. So once I'm happy with the color, just take off my gloves and scrape down my bowl and put it to the side. So I'll change my gloves and now we're gonna fill the cake. Just take a little bit of buttercream on my icing board, one layer down, and just with my spatula, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with the same color that it is gonna be on the outside. So just nice and even, not too thick. And then I'm gonna pop the other layer right on top. And then I'm gonna ice my cake. So I like to start with the top and get a nice even layer on top. And it doesn't have to be super perfect because you are gonna coat it in sugar, um, but you wanna make sure that all the crumbs are covered. So I'm just kinda going around the sides with my little offset. And if you don't have an offset, this cake is so small that you could definitely also use a butter knife. Um, Offsets are great because it helps you get the edges and um, smooth out the top without 
taking off the edges of it, but it's definitely not necessary for this cake. So I just clean up the base a little bit. And I'm gonna get out my turntable so it's a little higher. And then I'm just gonna clean up the spatula a little bit and use my torch to heat it up. If you don't have a torch, um, if you boil some water in a cup and dip your spatula in it, wipe it off, it'll make your metal of your spatula or your knife very hot and it helps to smooth the buttercream. So once the sides are all smooth, I'm just gonna do the same thing on the top, just smoothing out the top as best I can. Like I said before, it doesn't need to be super perfect because you are gonna coat it in sugar, but you wanna try to get it as smooth as you can. So I'm just going back and I'm covering the little patches that I have with more buttercream. Okay, so next we're gonna color the sugar that we're gonna use to put on the outside. So you're just gonna pour a little bit of the granulated sugar that you have into a bigger bowl and a couple of drops of the food coloring that you're gonna use. This is helpful to have gloves for this part because you, your hands will get very messy if you don't. So we're just taking the gel in between our hands and rubbing them together so that it disperses all over the sugar. And you're just gonna do this for as long as it takes to get all of the clumps of gel back out of it. So then you're gonna pick up your cake and with one hand, you're just gonna start placing the sugar on the outside of the still room temperature buttercream. And you can sprinkle it around the top and it's gonna stick to it like glue. And just shake it back off into the bowl, all the excess. Just going all around the sides, getting everything covered with the sugar. And now we're gonna place our eyes right there. Perfect. So now I'm getting a clean board and I'm just lifting it up with a knife and putting it on my serving board. And there you have it, a buttercream peep cake. Enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys decide to try this, make sure you tag us on Instagram at Charm City Cakes. If you have any suggestions for other videos you'd like to see or any tutorials, make sure to leave it in the comment section. All right guys, see you next time.